Oh my gosh, it's been so long. Look at you. Oh, whoa. Look how huge I am compared to all you guys. Your little, little small faces over there. Oh. <laughs> so guys, I am doing the lesson today. I am super excited for it. All right, so you know we've been speaking about parables, right? So the next parable that we're going to be speaking about is Matthew 13, all right? And we, if you open up your Bibles, we're going to be reading from chapter 13, verse 24. So it says, Jesus told them another parable. The kingdom of heaven is like this. A man sowed good seed in his field. One night when everyone was asleep, an enemy came and sowed weeds among the wheat and went away. When the plants grew and, and the ears of corn began to form, then the weeds showed up. The man's servants came to him and said, Sir, it was good seed you sowed on the field. Where did the weeds come from? It was the enemy. How could they do this? He answered. Do you want us to go and pull out the weeds? They asked him. No, he answered. Because you, as you gather the weeds, you might pull up some of the wheat along with them. Because in those days, like the weed, you, have you ever looked in your garden, the weeds and the plants, like they just fuse together. That's why the weeds always steal the water, you see. So, then I will tell the harvest workers to pull all the weeds first, tie them to bundles and burn them, and then to gather the wheat and put, put it in the barn. Then it says, Jesus told them another parable. The kingdom of heaven is like this. A man takes a mustard seed and sows it in the field. It is smaller of all the seeds, but when it grows it up, it's bigger of all plants. It becomes a tree so that birds can come and make their nests in branches. All right, guys, let's open up in a word of prayer, and then let's get going. Dear Jesus, thank you so much for just another Sunday, God, where we just get to learn more about you, learn more about what your parables mean, God. Thank you for all that you've done for us. Thank you for the week. And I pray that you would help us to enjoy the rest of the Sunday. You just need to pray. Oh, man. All right. So, you guys are almost all in school. All right. Most of you guys. And, like, some of you guys actually wear a school uniform. So, in school uniform, you always wear a specific one. So, you have to wear, like, a white shirt. Like, most schools are white shirt and then, like, a, like... For guys, it's it's maybe grey pants or black pants. And then for the girls, it's maybe skirts, depending on your school colours. But it always has these badges on in the pocket. So it's like the left side. You got to like put it where you can put like your money in. Like most of the time, you put like your paper wrappers. That's what I used to do with that. That was my pocket. It was the trash pocket for me. <laughs> so it has like a little symbol on it. And it says that you belong to this school. And in the same way, the God of Kingdom, it, it, it shows us that we belong to God. Now, the thing is, with that, it's, it's, like, an, it's like what you can see on the outside. That's how you'll know that, you know, they belong to that school. Or if you look at, like, different, different jobs. So, for example, firefighters, you know how exactly how a firefighter looks. You just need to see all those yellow and different kinds of you know, the straps that they have and all that kind of stuff, then you know they're a firefighter. If you have to see a policeman, you just see like the blue and you see the, the little star thing, then you know he's a policeman. And that you can see by on the outside that they are or they belong to that job or they belong to that school. Now, what God is talking about here, it says in Ephesians 1 verse 5, it says, we are God's children. So we get... We show Jesus through our actions, so on the outside, through our emotions, so on the inside, and through our mind on the inside. So it's like two to out of one, we show God that we are God's children, that we are in God's kingdom. So you know how in families you'll get like, for example, if you were raised as, and you knew, like your parents said, you got to love everyone, or you've got to you know, try your hardest to do whatever you need to do, or you'll get, like those families that are like, you know, that, you know, you got to, you got to really, really work hard to do whatever you need to do, and you got to get there by yourself, like you got to rely on yourself, and there's some families like, you know, you got to trust others, and from that point of view, you'll be able to get as far as you need to go, you know, you know that, there's different ways in which Parents, you know, raise up their kids. It's based on how they were raised. And 
in John 18, verse 36. I don't know if you guys want to turn there with me. Let's go to John. John. So John 18, just wait, just wait. Please hold your call, it's important to us. So it's John 18, verse 36. It says, Jesus said, My kingdom does not belong to this world. If my kingdom belonged to this world, the followers would fight to keep me from being handed over to the Jewish authorities. No, my kingdom does not belong here. And what Jesus was saying is that his kingdom is a heavenly kingdom. You know how we learn about the Bible, we learned about the fruits of the Spirit, we learned all about how we need to be following God and, and being like representatives, like we need to be showing love how Jesus showed, we need to be showing how much we love people like Jesus did, and those kind of things. And what, what John is saying here in that verse, he says, you know, God's kingdom looks different from the world. It's like the same thing how families raise up their diff kids differently. We are raised differently. And because we learn from the Bible that we need to be showing the fruits of the Spirit, and yet, I don't know if you guys can say all the fruits of the Spirit, but we need to be showing that. We need to be living the Ten Commandments, those kind of things. And that's how Jesus is raising us. He's raising us to show us that we need to be loving people. We need to be trustworthy ourselves. We need to be those kids that, you know, we... No matter who is at the school, no matter who is at the playground, no matter if that person doesn't even like you, you need to forgive that person. Because actually, it's helping you to grow you know, God's kingdom and it's helping you to grow yourself. So have fun, guys. Have fun knowing that you, know, you are God's children. You are His children. It says, Ephesians 1 verse 5 it says, God says, these people are my children. And because we are his children, we can live free and we can live free from the sin because you know what Jesus did on the cross? We can live free knowing that Jesus is always with us. Can you imagine having like, it's almost like, you know, a bodyguard walking with you. You know, those celebrities like you've seen on shows and like a photographer gets way too close and that bodyguard like tackles them. That's how Jesus takes care of us against all the enemies, you know, of that want to hurt us. So we've got the fruits of spirit. We've got Jesus always protecting us. We've got showing love to other people. We've got so much. And because we have so much, we need to teach these kids, teach everyone else that it's okay to not be perfect. Because Jesus says, no matter what, you are my children. No matter what in the world, nothing. Because Jesus loved us so much. And he died for us. So what I want you guys to do, it's like a challenge. I want you guys to go and tell people about Jesus. I want you guys to go tell your friends that, you know, your, your savior is Jesus. In heaven, your father is, you know, he is so lovable and he loves everyone. Go tell those to your friends. Because maybe your friends need to hear that. Maybe your friends are wanting that maybe they maybe they have questions bring them to k for j maybe we can ask answer those questions allow them to see how awesome jesus is and how the kingdom of god is so much more than just a badge that we wear or the clothes that we wear but it's from it's all the way from the inside out so guys that is the lesson today i hope that you guys have learned something new and I'm handing it over to Kate now to do the craft. All right, high five, Kate. <laughs> All right, guys, but let's end off in a word of prayer and then let's get going into the crafts. Jesus, thank you so much for loving us. Thank you so much for all that you've done for us. Thank you that no matter what we do, no matter where we go, Jesus, you love us. Thank you, Jesus, for just being with us, for dying on the cross that we know that we are protected by you. Jesus, I just pray that you would help us to grow in the fruits of the Spirit. And I pray that you would help us to grow in patience. I mean, there's a lot of stuff in the world that we're like, no, we don't like that. But Jesus, you're always working all things to be good. Because you are absolutely 100% good. So be with us, lead us, Jesus. And thank you so much. And all God's children said, Amen.
I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your Sunday. I'll probably see you guys around somewhere. I'll probably be in the youth hall somewhere. But I'll see you guys soon. Cheers!